Well, hello everyone, and a happy new year to you all. May I thank you for joining me and my little helpers for this, my special day. Now you might be thinking, blimey, he's a bit past it to be baptized. <laughs> and you're right, I am old. Make no mistake, my sons call me an old dink. But I've got a few mods in the tank. So I was born and raised in Bishopsworth and lived in a cottage where the Jehovah's Witness place is today. This was all before Hartcliff Withywood. And Highridge came to be. It was even before B and Q. <laughs> As a lad, I, I attended Bishopsworth Primary School and went to Sunday school at St. Peter's. That's a church up the road there. I always considered myself to be a Christian and led a happy life. And then I met my lovely wife, Patsy, and had three sons. We were married at St. Peter's in 1966. And it was a real occasion. HBC was then, as Neil said earlier, was just a few wooden huts called Crossways Tabernacle. So, as many of you will know, in 2017, we lost our dear son Dave to alcoholism. It was a long, long story, a long, long road. On the day he passed, we sat with him in total shock and bewilderment with our other boys. There was a knock at the door and a man of mystery walks in. Well, of course, it was Phil, bless him, who was a pastor at HPC. In the midst of our, our grief and sorrow, he came and shone his light. He had such a presence, and he changed our lives forever and brought Jesus with him to us. He became such a good friend now, as you go through life, you'll meet many people, and one or two may be really special, and Phil was one of them. He was a lovely bloke, a one-off, and I miss him so much, and Beth. He was like a dear brother. Shortly after, we came to HBC, and were made very welcome. John and Margaret were our first and lasting contact. They're dear friends, and we love them both. Now, back to Dave. What I didn't know is that he and Phil were good friends at this point. And it's also worth mentioning that Dave and I, had lo he had lost his confidence in me. It was so sad that our lives had become awful, really. In fact, Dave had been going to HPC for some time. Phil, Simon, and Neil were encouraging him and, and were trying to turn him around Despite many offers to help from everywhere, alas, it was not to be. Now, I was always looking for more revelations in Christ. Tim had recently presented Christianity Explored, which was enlightening and interesting. Nearly there. Simon and Paul had been taking us through the Bible story and the highlights. Putting them together was a masterpiece with Tim's Christianity Explored. I loved it and would say that from that point, I became a true Christian, and that's me today. So many, many thanks to you all and to those who have helped me through on this journey. And as Tiny Tim said, God bless us all. Fantastic. Not yet. Yeah, exactly. That's right. That's right. Now, um, Jim, a uh, verse from the Bible for you says this, for I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation 
will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So, two questions for you. The answer to both is yes. I know it is. It's all right. Jim, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that he died to save you from your sin? Yes. Do you turn from your sin and promise to follow him day by day, obeying him as Master and Lord? Absolutely. So, on your confession of faith, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.